In the previous tutorial, I created this house, this awesome house, in Blender and we exported it out to the FBX format and then loaded it up through XPacker and put it into RTB. This time around, we're going to create a second house, which I've already done, um, using those same materials. I basically made a copy and then did a bit of an edit and cut and paste and came up with this tremendous house. So now what I want to demonstrate is that if you've got this selected and it's important that that object be selected when we export to FBX yeah, select house 2, I've already done that before, that's why the file exists um, but you want to tick here selected objects so it's only going to export the object you selected otherwise it would export both houses out at the same time and we don't want that. So I click export FBX and away it goes well and good, we're done with Blender now, so we'll jump into XPacker and we'll open up the XPack that we had before, which was our new XPack. Um, this now has our object in there our, that we created earlier and we're going to add to that by loading up that house too that we just created. Scale it OK and there it is, sitting there already. Now if we just flick between these you can see a few little differences there so we might um, just uh, fill in these same properties on house 2. Uh, this was 600 and I put this separation I don't think I mentioned it before but I put a separation here of 20 meters uh, when you're lassoing and you say keep the object separate um, that's the amount that they'll um, be at least spaced by when uh, randomly placing them in your lassoed area. Okay, so that's it for that. You can have a look at the information um, there and we see that it's brought in two new materials and um, if we look at house one they're slightly different materials so we want to, if we flick here, we want to have these materials all using the same um, one material rather than having duplicate copies. So if we click on this material and then say replace, we know we want to, that material was our roof tiles, so we say OK to that. And now that's automatically gone into the objects that m we're using it and it's changed that there to be roof tiles. Material 2 we'll go and do now, so that we will replace that with an existing one this time we're going to use the brick wall. Click OK and we're done. Um, in the textures, there's a few textures there that we kind of need to clean up. Rather than going through and cleaning up these, we also need to clean up these materials that we don't want. So we just say delete on that because it's no longer being used by the object. And I click yes to those messages, I didn't pause long on them, but they will clean up the textures as well. Um, notice too that I've brought this um, normally in to sit under the brick wall as well um, so it's all fairly neat and tidy and um, all that's left to do now is to zip that to RTB and let's go load up RTB so we create a new project go to edit XPAX at the new new XPAC and look at our objects, go to houses now we've got two icons there, if we hover there we've got house 1 hover there we've got house 2 so let's untick that one and go add our house 2 there we go, same materials different house so the advantage to this is that if we have multiple objects all using the same materials then, rather than having, say, six different houses each using their own set of textures and materials, you've got the same ones using those same textures. Um, and so rendering, when it is eventually exported to game, rendering becomes simpler because it's just rendering. Um, basically, the RTB, when it exports, will group these objects up together, and um, so you've got less individual objects to, to render when it comes to the game so you'll you'll have greater performance while still having a variety of uh, materials so RTB 
when you have a bunch of objects and if we use the lasso and say use our minimum separation there um, and space those out at least 20 meters apart um, now RTP when you export will bunch them into 100 meter uh, groups and so those fitting uh, within 100 meters of each other uh, grouped together and um, all rendered and grouped together and uh, if you look at their properties, their properties are considered as to whether they're casting a shadow and um, their level of detail in and outs will also be considered and so they, they all get grouped together for, for better performance and um, yeah so it's um, it's an advantage to, to reuse materials when you can rather than have dozens and dozens and dozens of different materials so hopefully XPAC builders of the future take note and um, yeah I hope to see what people come up with hopefully better looking houses anyway thanks again for watching